In this lesson, we're going to be writing equations of lines in point-slope form. The success criteria is I can use a point on a line in the slope to write an equation of the line. I can use any two points to write an equation of the line. And I can write equations in point-slope form to solve real-life problems. A linear equation written in the form y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1 is in point-slope form. The line passes through the point x1 comma y1 and the slope of the line is m. So if you see down here, our formula is y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1, where m is the slope, which is consistent with what we've been doing in the past, and the line goes through this point x1 comma y1. This is just any point on the line. For this example, we're going to write an equation in point-slope form of the line that passes through the point negative 6 comma 1 with a slope of 2 thirds. Well, remember, Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is plug in my values into this formula. Okay, well, my slope is two thirds. Remember, m is the slope, so I'm going to change this m to two thirds. And the x and the y without the uh, subscript of one here, these just stay as x and y. Okay. So what I'm plugging in is I'm going to plug this ordered pair in for the x1 and the y1 component. Okay. So this negative 6, this is my x value. So this is going to be for x1. And then y value of this point is 1. So it's going to be plugged into uh, y1. So this is going to be y minus 1, because that's my y component, equals, and then I have my 2 thirds, which is my slope. And then this is going to be x minus, well this is negative 6, so that means I'm going to do x minus negative 6, okay? Well, remember, minus a negative is the same thing as adding, so I can rewrite this as y minus 1 equals 2 thirds times x plus 6, and now we've successfully written this equation in point-slope form, and now we're done. In this example, we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the given points. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. Okay, the first way I'm going to use point slope form. Okay, so first I need to find the slope from the table. Okay, you could pick two ordered pairs, or we could just see um, the pattern here. So if you notice, each time in the y, I'm subtracting six. So my change in y is negative six because each time I go from here to here and here to here, I go down six minus six. And then for x, each time I do that, I'm actually going up 3. So from here to here, that's plus 3. So that means my change in x is plus 3. So my slope is going to be just my change in y over my change in x, which is negative 6 over 3, which is negative 2. Okay, so that's my slope. m equals negative 2. Okay. And then if I'm going to use point-slope form, I can pick any point on this line, so negative 1, 10, 2, comma, 4, or 5, comma, negative 2. Any of these points will work. I'll just pick negative 1, 10 to start. Okay, so now I just want to rewrite my formula for point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, well, all i got to do is plug these values in. So I have y minus 10 equals negative 2 times quantity x minus negative 1. These negatives turn into a plus. And now all I have to do to get this into slope-intercept form is to solve this equation for y. Okay, So I'm going to distribute this negative 2. So I get y minus 10 equals negative 2x minus 2. Then I just add 10 on both sides. I get y equals negative 2x plus 8. So that is the first way to do this. Okay. The second way to do this uh, does not involve using point-slope form. It just involves using slope-intercept form. And the first step is the same. The first step is to find the slope, which we've already done. Okay. And you could find the slope using uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that would get you the same value. You can try that out if you want. Um, anyway, but what we're going to do here for the second method, which is actually my preferred method, 
is we're going to start off by writing our equation, y equals mx plus b. We've already found our slope, so I'm going to plug that in for m. So now I have y equals negative 2x plus b. Okay. Well, and this x and this y, this just describes any xy pair on the line. And I'm given three xy pairs here. Okay. And it doesn't matter which one of these xy pairs I pick. I just picked negative 1 comma 10 for the last one. I'm going to try 2 comma 4 for this one just because. Um, so now I'm going to plug that ordered pair in for my x and y. So remember, this 2 comma 4, 2 is the x value, so I'm going to plug this in for x. And then 4 is the y value, so I'm going to plug that in for y. So I'm going to get 4 equals negative 2 times 2 plus b. Okay, well, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And then to solve this equation, to get rid of this minus 4 term, I'm going to add 4 on both sides. So I get 8 equals b. And then I take this and I plug it back in here, because I already have my slope plugged in. I just have to figure out my y-intercept. And I get y equals negative 2x plus 8. And if you notice, I get the exact same answer here. Okay, I get y equals negative 2x plus 8. So the second method is my preferred method, but both will certainly work. Anyway, now we're done. For this example, you finish parasailing and are being pulled back to the boat. After two seconds, you are 25 feet above the boat. At what height were you parasailing? Well, first I'm going to identify what my variables are going to be. I'm going to assign some variables here. So I'm just going to call x the amount of time or the amount of seconds, number of seconds. And that's going to be number of seconds after uh, we're being, we start getting pulled back. And then I'm going to call y the height above the boat. Okay in feet. And if you notice, I'm reducing 10 feet per second, okay? Well, 10 feet, that's my change in y per second, that's my change in x. So this is actually going to be my slope, 10 feet per second. So that's my slope, m. And since I'm going down 10 feet per second, it's going to be negative 10. Okay, so my slope's negative 10. And then if you notice, right here, it says after two seconds, we are 25 feet above the boat, okay? Well, that's my x and my y. So I have an x, y value of two seconds and then 25 feet above the boat. That's my height, so that's my y value. So I can treat this like an ordered pair here. So I know my slope is negative 10, and I know that my ordered pair is 2 comma 25. So I can use this to help me find the height that I was parasailing at. So what I'm going to do is actually figure out the equation of this line in slope-intercept form because this will allow me to figure out the y-intercept. And the y-intercept in this case is how high I was above the boat uh, after zero seconds of being pulled down. So basically not being pulled down at all. So that y-intercept will essentially tell me my answer. Okay. Well, I'm just going to use my slope-intercept equation. So it's going to be y equals mx plus b. You could also use point-slope form here, uh, like I showed in the last example, but I'm going to do uh, slope-intercept form. Anyway, I'm going to plug in my slope, which is negative 10, x plus b equals y, and I'm going to plug in this ordered pair as well, so 2 for x and 25 for y. So this is going to be 25 equals negative 10 times 2, that's my x value, plus b. This will figure out the y-intercept, and that's what I'm looking for. The y-intercept is going to be the height that I was parasailing at. Anyway, this is going to become negative 20, and then 25, and I'll bring down the plus b. Now I'll add 20 on both sides to solve, and I get 45 equals b, so that's my y-intercept. So the equation is going to be y equals negative 10x plus 45. And like I said earlier, the interpretation of this equation is that we have our slope is negative 10. That's falling 10 feet per second. And our height before we started falling was 45. Okay. So to answer our, our final question, it says, at what height were you parasailing? We can answer that by saying, whoops, erase the 5 there. I can say that by saying, we were parasailing at 45 feet. So we've successfully answered our word problem, and now we're done.